What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Crypto in 5. My name's Riley and today we're going to be looking at the cryptocurrency known as Status. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get into it, shall we? So what is Status? And built on Ethereum, Status is an open source messaging platform, web browser, and mobile Ethereum operating system. And for the latter, what it is, is, is it browses and engages with other dApps on the Ethereum network. The native token on the platform is SNT, and the platform allows users to store Ethereum and Ethereum-based assets on the platform. It also allows encrypted peer-to-peer -peer messaging with added features such as payments and smart contracts built into the messaging platform. On the status platform, you control and you own your own data and identity on the platform. So no one else is responsible but you for your own identity. One of the problems which social media platforms and messaging platforms face is the creation of spam accounts. And to get around this, what a status does is it makes a small deposit which is required to, in order to create a valid account to be used on the messaging platform. This means that if someone were to try and create a ton of different spam accounts, they would have to deposit a lot of SNT and this just wouldn't be financially viable for them. Also, SNT currently supports a range of other DApps on Ethereum, for example, Aragon and Gnosis, and I'm sure they will be adding more to the list in the very near future. Speaking of the future, Currently, I can't find any major events for the future of SNT, only like little developments, little tweaks in the code and some small little Ethereum based events, but nothing really big on the cards for SNT. Some, sometime this year they might release a sort of a new roadmap with some more events coming up, but at the moment there's not much on the cards for the project. Now Status has a really good team, their founders are Carl Bennett and Jared Hope. They have worked together for six years and op they have operated a software distribution network for three of those six years. Their chief operating officer is Nabil Nagdi, and forgive me if I pronounce that wrong. He is the former executive at Google, or a former executive at Google, and he led the Google Maps and Google Flight projects. So two very big projects, especially Google Maps. Also on the team, they have three Ethereum Foundation members and they have two Aragon co-founders. So the team is a very, very, very solid team. And to finish off my quick thoughts, what Status is trying to do, it's trying to solve the accessibility problems for Ethereum. And it's doing this in a mobile friendly way. And one of the big problems for Ethereum currently is, is, is its accessibility. Although scalability and security is probably a higher priority, uh, accessibility will become one of the big problems for mass adoption in the future and Status is helping to get that accessibility gap closed so that when Ethereum is ready for mass adoption it can be pushed through seamlessly. One of the things you will have to think about in terms of the messaging platform is that getting the masses to change to another messaging platform will be very very difficult. It's not impossible but it is hard because people like to stick to what they know and they don't generally change unless something has a lot of people on it, like the masses actually have already gone to it, or they have advanced technical features on it. And while I do think there will be advanced technical features on it in the future, they currently don't have any, and I mean, that's not that bad because blockchain itself isn't really that adopted yet anyway. But my final thought on status, there are similar and more ambitious projects than this, uh, but I could see it being used nonetheless, and I could see it rising in price long term if you were to invest in it. However, I think there are more projects which will provide a greater investment opportunity for me in the long term, so I will not be investing in this project. So that's status in under five. If you like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like and a comment below on another cryptocurrency you would like to see me do in under five minutes. Also, make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll catch you later.